Have you ever wondered about the stories hidden within a masterpiece? Picture, if you will, an 18th century painting known as The Swing, the creation of the remarkable Jean-Honoré Fragonard. This piece is widely celebrated, not simply for its exquisite detail and captivating charm, but for the enigmatic narrative that it holds within its brush strokes. The Swing is a vibrant dance of colors, a visual feast that draws you into a moment frozen in time. Yet, beyond its aesthetic allure, it carries an intriguing tale, a secret whispered between the lines of pigment and canvas. This story, steeped in scandal and subterfuge, adds a thrilling dimension to this masterpiece, elevating it from a beautiful painting to a fascinating historical document. It's a tale that paints the picture of its era, offering us a glimpse into the past. To fully appreciate the beauty of the swing, we must first understand its origin. Every masterpiece begins with a stroke of inspiration. And so, the story of The Swing by Jean-Honoré Fragonard begins in the heart of the Rococo era. This was a time when art was not just a visual delight, but a whimsical dance of light, color, and joy. Art was a light-hearted escape from the rigid and formal Baroque style that had dominated Europe. Born in the French Riviera in 1732, Fragonard was a child of this era, a time when art was becoming more playful, more personal, and more about the celebration of life's simple pleasures. His early life was steeped in this artistic atmosphere. He was the son of a glove maker and showed an early talent for art, which led him to study under the great Rococo painter, Francois Boucher. Boucher's influence on Fragonard was profound. He was the one who introduced the young artist to the light-hearted and flamboyant style of the Rococo. It was under Boucher's guidance that Fragonard learnt to paint with a vivaciousness and a sense of joy that would become his hallmark. His brush strokes were light, his colors were vibrant, and his subjects were often caught in moments of intimate pleasure and playful abandon. But Fragonard was not just a product of his time or his mentor. He was an artist with his own vision, his own voice. He took the Rococo style and pushed it to new heights, adding a touch of sensuality and a hint of mischief that was uniquely his. His paintings were not just beautiful, they were full of life, full of stories. And so, in this vibrant, whimsical world of Rococo, with the influences of his early life and the guidance of his mentor Fragonard found his inspiration, he was ready to make his mark, ready to create something that would not just reflect the spirit of his time, but would transcend it. The stage was set for Fragonard to create a masterpiece that would captivate audiences for centuries to come. Behind every great artwork, there is often a tale of intrigue and scandal. And Jean-Honoré Fragonard's masterpiece, The Swing, is no exception. The painting was commissioned by a rather controversial figure of the 18th century French society, a baron. But this was not your typical commission for a portrait or a landscape. The baron had a very specific and scandalous request. He wanted a portrait of his mistress perched on a swing, being pushed by none other than a priest. Now this was not merely a whimsical request, the Baron's demand was layered with symbolism and innuendo. The swing was an emblem of frivolity and carelessness, often associated with illicit love affairs in the French court at the time. The act of a priest pushing the swing, a religious figure indulging in such an act, was a blatant mockery of the church, which was considered highly scandalous. This brings us to another interesting figure in our story, Jean-Honoré Fragonard himself. A young and promising artist, he was making a name for himself with his playful and light-hearted Rococo style. Fragonard was quite the risk-taker and was not one to shy away from a challenge. Despite the scandalous nature of the commission, he accepted it, bringing the audacious concept to life with his brushstrokes. In the painting, the lady on the swing is depicted mid-motion, her shoe flying off her foot, adding an element of spontaneity and excitement. The priest, hidden in the shadows, pushes the swing, while the Baron watches the spectacle from a hidden vantage point. The painting is a testament to Fragonard's ability to turn a scandalous commission into a playful yet provocative masterpiece. The commission and the scandal associated with it only added to the allure of the swing. It became a symbol of the decadence and audacity of the French aristocracy, a snapshot of a time when art was not merely a medium of expression, but also a tool of defiance and rebellion. With such a scandalous backstory, it's no wonder the swing continues to fascinate us. Hidden within the swing are symbols and messages that tell a story beyond what meets the eye. The painting is much more than a playful depiction of a woman on a swing. Let's delve deeper into this Rococo masterpiece and unravel the hidden meanings. 
At first glance the swing may appear as a mere playful object, but in the context of the 18th century, it takes on a more suggestive role. The swing was a popular motif in Rococo art, often used to symbolize the fleeting nature of pleasure and the instability of love. The motion of the swing, suspended in mid-air, mirrors the precarious balance of the love triangle depicted in the painting. Deeper into the scene we find the hidden lover. His placement in the bushes, concealed from the older man, adds a layer of intrigue and secrecy. This hidden lover is a symbol of the clandestine affairs that were not uncommon in the French aristocracy of the time. His upward gaze towards the woman on the swing is more than admiration, it's a voyeuristic perspective, an intimate view into a moment usually kept private. This voyeuristic element is further amplified by the use of the swing. As the woman soars higher, her skirts billow out, offering a tantalizing glimpse to her hidden observer. This play with visibility and invisibility, public and private, was a central theme in the Rococo era, reflecting society's fascination with pleasure and leisure. The subtle inclusion of Cupid figures also adds to the painting's narrative. Often associated with love and desire, these figures watch the scene unfold, silent observers to the unfolding drama. Their presence adds a touch of the divine, suggesting that even the gods are involved in this game of love and deception. Fragonard's masterful use of symbolism allows the swing to transcend its scandalous origins and become a timeless masterpiece. Each element within the canvas tells a story, a snapshot of the Rococo era's fascination with pleasure, leisure, and the more clandestine aspects of love. The swing is more than just a beautiful painting, it's a piece of history that continues to resonate with us. Its legacy isn't just confined to the realms of art history books, or the hushed corridors of the Wallace Collection, where it hangs today. No, the swing has transcended its own time, leaving a lasting impression on art and popular culture that continues to ripple into the present day. In the world of art, it has inspired countless artists to push boundaries and inject a sense of playfulness into their work. Its influence can be seen in the works of modern artists, who use whimsy and flirtation as key elements in their pieces, much like Fragonard did in The Swing. In fact, it's almost impossible to explore the genre of Rococo without acknowledging the indelible mark left by this painting. Beyond the canvas, The Swing has also found its way into various forms of media, from literature to film, it has been referenced and reimagined time and time again. It's become a symbol of romantic intrigue, of secret glances and hidden desires. And why not? After all, the swing is the epitome of a love story told through the lens of mystery and mischief. But perhaps the most significant part of the swing's legacy lies in its ability to spark discussions. Discussions about the role of women in society, about the power dynamics in relationships, about the very nature of art itself. It's an invitation to question and to ponder, to delve deeper into the narrative that lies beneath the surface. So you see, the swing is not just a painting, it's a cultural icon, a source of inspiration and a conversation starter. It's a testament to Fragonard's genius and a reminder of the power that art holds in shaping our understanding of the world. From its scandalous origins to its enduring influence, the swing proves that a masterpiece is more than just a beautiful image. It's a window into our past. So, what makes the swing such a captivating masterpiece? This question has led us on quite a journey, hasn't it? We've delved into the historical context of the 18th century, a time when art was experiencing a seismic shift. We've discussed the scandalous commissioning of the swing, a tale rife with intrigue and hidden intentions. We decoded the rich symbolism that Jean-Honoré Fragonard masterfully wove into the canvas. The playful cherub, the teetering shoe, the clandestine lover. Each detail a testament to Fragonard's genius, adding layers of complexity and depth to an otherwise seemingly innocent scene. And let's not forget the enduring legacy of The Swing. Its influence can still be felt today, in the way we view and interpret art, challenging us to peel back the layers and uncover the stories hidden within. Next time you look at a masterpiece, remember there's always more to the story than what meets the eye.